You are looking at the user interface of the Gargoyle Illustration System. A circular cursor moves around on the screen when the mouse is moved. Gargoyle can make other display objects follow the cursor. The upside-down V-shape that is now visible is called the caret. Precise positioning operations involve snapping the caret to gravity-active objects in the scene. We begin by placing a stationary object, called the anchor, at the current caret position. The anchor is gravity-active, so when the cursor approaches the anchor, the caret jumps to it. Next, we select 30-degree lines in a menu of slope lines. Notice that a line 30 degrees from horizontal appears, passing through the anchor. Likewise, if we select circles of radius 2 inches, then a 2-inch circle appears, centered on the anchor. We can select multiple slope lines and circles at the same time. Now let's construct an equilateral triangle with 2-inch sides and a base at 30 degrees. We add a line segment from the anchor, snapping its endpoint to the intersection of our two alignment objects. We remove the anchor. We make the line segment endpoint hot. This means that the endpoint will trigger alignment objects just as the anchor did. We can make the other endpoint hot as well. Now we can finish the triangle by snapping its third point to the intersection of the two circles. Finally, we close the triangle. Explicitly making points hot can be tedious. If we enable heuristics, Gargoyle will make some endpoints hot automatically. This time, when we draw the triangle, no anchor is needed and no endpoints are made hot explicitly. Just as endpoints can trigger alignment lines in circles, line segments can trigger alignment lines at a specified angle or distance from themselves. Here, one segment triggers two alignment lines, each half an inch from the segment. If we make the whole triangle hot, we can construct a surrounding triangle offset from the first by half an inch. Line segments can also trigger alignment lines at a specified angle. Here we construct an L shape at an arbitrary orientation using 90 degree alignment lines. We now show how precise point placement can lead to precise translation, rotation, and scaling. In our example, we first translate a square to a corner of a hexagon. Next, we rotate the square to be collinear with the hexagon's edge, and then scale it to make the two edges congruent. Rotations can align objects that are far apart. Notice that the anchor, the tip of the arrow, and the caret remain collinear during rotation. At the end of the rotation, the arrow points at the center of the circle. Now, let's use dragging and alignment lines together. The left edge of the upper box is made hot. 90 degree slope lines are selected, and the lower box is snapped to the slope line. It is useful to be able to translate parts of objects as well as whole objects. Here we create a slanting letter G using 0 and 60 degree slope lines with heuristics turned on. Now, we select a single segment and drag it along one of the alignment lines. The same technique can be used to make the G shorter. We wish to rotate the G that we have just created until it leans against a vertical wall. We measure the distance from the center of rotation to the point on the G that is going to touch the wall, and we activate alignment circles of that radius. The G will follow the caret along the new circle to its intersection with the wall. We wish to construct the largest square that fits in a hexagon. We turn on 45 degree slope lines, place the caret on a corner of the square, and scale the square until its corner snaps to the hexagon. In summary, snap dragging combines three ideas. First, 
The carrot can be snapped to gravity active objects and their intersection points. Second, alignment lines may be created and used as temporary gravity active objects. Finally, interactive transformations follow the carrot, as shown here for translation, rotation, scaling, and skewing. While snapdragging has not been in use for long, results from first users have been very encouraging. Users have been able to pick up a working knowledge of gargoyle within a few hours and have surprised us with the quality of illustrations that they have produced.